All right, folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join me in the wild landscape of Scotland. In today's video, I've just basically come down for a little chilled out walk at the coast, and the tide is absolutely insane today. So, I thought for this intro and this video, I would just throw the camera on and just show you how incredible the waves can actually be coming through this little channel here. It's super windy today and I'm just kind of, I'm on a half day from work and I'm just out here in a wee explore and a wee walk and I'm at the wild east coast and this is kind of a little area, I came down and just sheltered out of the worst of the wind and the waves here are just absolutely extreme It's so crazy to actually see them The first couple of waves I was standing out on this rock here and literally they splashed right up in front of me and I can see massive waves once again building out here Here's some more absolute monsters coming in here. Look at this one. Wow, if some of that stuff splashes me, look at the size of this wave here. Wow. It's insane because they kind of have to turn direction there and the spray right up in the air. Depending on the flow of the water, like each wave seems to splash a different direction. This is one of my favourite areas at the coast here to come and explore, like because of this reason, sometimes the sea and the waves is just incredible. But there you go folks, that's just a little window into a coastal scene. I'm not sure where this adventure is going now, but I've just enjoyed standing here and taking in this crazy bit of coast. I often love coming to the coast for a little chill out. Weather's like this, the sun shining, and if you can get a little spot out of the out of the worst of the wind, it's just incredible for the adventure. It seems to be these waves come in and surges. Now and again, there's hardly any, and then all of a sudden, there's some absolute monsters like spraying in the air. Welcome to this exciting video where you once again join me in the wild agricultural landscape of Scotland here and today I'm kind of in the northern side area I've just parked the car at the roadside here and I wanted to come up here and document this incredible standing stone in this adventure it's going to be a few little different nuggets because I'm kind of just out for a drive and I thought because this field is combined right now I'll be able to come in and document this ancient standing stone here. It's quite a cool standing stone. And these are like some ancient stones which marked who even knows what. A lot of people have got different theories as to why the standing stones were all over the country. But obviously it's kind of like linked up with even Stonehenge and ancient things like that. This is one of these local Angus standing stones and it's crazy to think what ancient ceremonies or rituals may have taken place around an area like this or it's amazing to think what these stones may have been marking at an ancient time look at the color of the gray sky all around with these clouds folks it adds to the character of an adventure the summer period's definitely over now and there's a real autumn feel to the air and you can start to see the, the trees are changing becoming more of an orangey brown some of the leaves are yellow and the colours just come out if the sun shines on them it's just incredible to see and look at this, you can see how these standing stones were positioned on prominent pieces of land here in Scotland and all over the UK I do apologise for wind and the audio here folks, we're right on the summit of this little hill. Just check it out. Mad scenes once again on the channel folks. What a place to start the video. Just think how long this standing stone here has stood in this wild hill. And you've got to think how deep in the ground does it go. Looks like it's been the perch for many a bird. Yeah, look at the markings on it. It's, it's just like, whoa, there's a hare. It's just run off away down there. It was sitting in the grass. But yeah, these are natural markings on the stone. And it 
it's just incredible. A lot of these standing stones that I've visited, they've got this quartz seam through them. And this one's no different. Look at that, it's got a hole in it. Wow, what's that been, folks? Has that hole been drilled in there from some ancient technology? Who would even know? It's cool just to theorise the history in these places when I visit them. And when I was driving past, I just thought it's such a cool start to the video to come out and see this. And just to see the land which it stands within. I'm going to pretty much head this direction into the wild lands. In the last video, I was down at the coast, so it's cool to have a mixture on the channel of like all different terrains and like wildernesses. It's just magical often. In Scotland, you can have a completely different landscape, just a few miles from like each other it's just insane and then the old history just think how ancient this is some of the houses or even lime kilns that we visit on this channel they're, they're nothing compared to the age and the time that's passed since this stone was put here anyway let's keep this adventure moving that's been a quick start to the video but it's cool often just to have an episode like this where i'm just stopping here there and everywhere documenting little bits and pieces documenting the landscape itself i'm just trying to avoid the rainstorms it looks like up the top of this glen here it's like rainstorms on the back hills for sure and that's kind of like the aflocky road around there i would say up towards glen ogle so i would probably call that the northern side standing stone right there and it is interesting how these old standing stones are positioned at places over the country like that prominent bits of land and those ones like that predate like the pictish times the picts used to put in crazy like carved standing stones but these older ones are just like a plain massive stone and like they predate the picts for sure like they're ancient stones some people believe it marks out like an ancient magnetic field which was across the Earth's surface. Other people believe they're linked even as far as like the pyramids and crazy other structures like that. So it's crazy just to think of the magnitude of that history. Anyway, on to the next place in this little video, folks. Check this out folks, for the second part of this video I was away to come in here walk up Glen Clover and I've driven up here but just check it out it's an incredible rainstorm and you can just see the massive cliffs and hills disappearing up into the clouds and from what I've seen on this little hurdle around the Glen it looks like this rain's not even going to go off so I'm just way ahead somewhere else on this adventure I don't even know where I'm waiting to stop but I just thought I would update the video and just show you, this is the weather conditions nowadays, folks. I was actually going to go this direction and try and find some abandoned history at this side of the Glen, where I've never explored before. But we'll save that for another day. I'm waiting to get back in the car before I get soaked. And we're waiting to head on to another destination, folks. check this out folks this is the third and final destination on today's adventure the weather is just extreme i've gone to a different glen and a different land here since you just saw me a minute ago in the video and now it's not such extreme rain but there's mad wind and fog up here and i've actually come to the ancient site of the white carthen and the brown carthen here i do apologize for wind in the audio here folks we're right at the roadside here but tonight it's just extremely foggy and windy i was going to actually walk up this hill a bit towards the ancient historical wonder of white carthen and docking but i didn't even realize the weather was going to be so extreme tonight when i came out for an adventure just check out how the fog's like blowing over the hill here in front of me even if I don't go to the top, we'll just head up here a little bit and just think of the ancient history here of the Carthen being abandoned up on the hill from 700 AD, ancient times like that. Look at that fog, folks. It's like coming to another world when you come to a destination like this. 
and it's amazing the massive amount of engineering they put into like digging out the land and shaping the land up here and also the quantity of stones at one time they carried to the top of this hill to create the structure which they built. They're, it's a little hilltop settlement as you maybe saw through the sign I didn't actually go too in depth at the bottom of the hill but yeah the way this fog's rolling over the land, it gives the character to a site like this. You can almost imagine how it was when it was in its original forum, defended for the ancient barbarians of the land. Potentially this area here was thick, dense forest. And then the little settlement moving on top of the hill. And I can actually see the hilltop, I think, through the fog. And I'll update you when I'm up there. I'm just taking my chance sometimes when the when the wind's not blowing so strong. But I'm gonna go all the way to the top, folks. We're on this adventure. I love sometimes just heading into the wilderness of Scotland like this to see these historical wonders. Sometimes when the weather's extreme, that's the best time to see them. made it to the centre of, well, the top of this hill, and in there is the centre of the ancient historical wonder. I always imagine these ancient hilltop forts when they have the little houses with the chimneys smoking, and the little community that would have stayed here for a certain time of the year, hunting and gathering probably supplies, maybe even like raiding different clans and different barbarian settlements over the land. Or maybe always on the defence, waiting for the next invasion. It's almost spooky walking across an ancient bit of land like this. So here we are folks, we made it to the top of the hill and we made it into that one of a one of the most interesting little parts of this site here I would say. This is actually the old well site for this old hilltop settlement. And you can just imagine this would have probably been like three times as deep, maybe even more. When we visited the Fenavon Hill Fort as well on top of the hill, it had an even more mega deep well. You have to imagine the wee houses around the edge of this with like the chimneys smoking, the little families that maybe settled, the hunter-gatherer type of folk in the community. They would come here to get their water, a deep hole down into a hilltop spring. And that's often the reason they would fort fortify the whole hilltop here to be their defensive position. But the crazy thing with this ancient hilltop fort, there's actually an even older one on the hill further across. So up at the Carterthans with the white and brown Carterthan, some real ancient history just abandoned within the wild land, but the hill itself is the scar of the history. And it's just amazing to see what they did, how the whole top of this hill's level with a massive stone boundary. The quantity of stones is just unreal. And this is basically me down in the well. I came down in the well because I was thinking there's hardly any wind down here. And everywhere I go basically this weekend the weather's just extreme so it was cool just to come here and do a wee like explore at least we saw something which is incredible and historical and just think of the ancient people that came here to get their water that's how it's mad to document these places think of the wild conditions this is where they were living it's hard enough to come up here and do a little short walk but the conditions have just gotten freezing cold recently in Scotland. It's gone from being summer, just autumn's coming hard and quick like. And the heather here is starting to change colour to the more brown. Winter's almost here, folks. You can just see the piles of stones. The wind just keeps gusting in. Anyway, I'll update you once I'm further down. I'm waiting to get off this mad hilltop, folks, and I'll update you. That's like an 80 mile an hour wind, folks. It's just blasting me right now. The 
wind coming over here is so extreme. You can just see the pile of stones on the outside perimeter of this place. Look at it folks, this is the kind of stones that this perimeter of this whole site is built out of. And it's incredible to see the millions of stones that's been carried up here and the labour. There could have potentially been a couple of hundred folk at a site like this potentially. When I see the amount of labour involved here. It's incredible to imagine how the life and culture was back at the time that place was in operation. And what the people were wearing, like they probably made their own clothes out of the animals that they killed out on the hill here. Back at that time also probably wolves and stuff in the natural environment here. Right folks, that's me just a bit back down at my car, so I'm going to end this video here. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll be back very soon with the next adventure, when hopefully I'm out of this incredible storm on this mad hilltop. <laughs> Yeah.